Hey, what is up, Guardians? Micro here, and today we are back with another episode of Roblox, and today is going to be so... <gasps> Today is gonna be so exciting because we have been added to Meep City. Now, you might not exactly know what that means right now, but I'm gonna show you guys, but I cannot believe, I don't even know how we just got thrown off the map right there. One thing that I do wanna tell you guys before we get started into today's activities is I did do the Kids' Choice Awards Meep Slime little thingy, so little fishy is really slimy. If you guys wanna check that out, that was over on Audrey's channel is when I did that as well, and she did it and we did it together. It was so much fun, but if you guys do wanna check that out, that is where that is, but look at little fishy, he's so cute. I also added some awesome little glasses and a little awesome top hat. I think, I don't remember if the top hat was in the last one, but we added the top hat and it looks so cool, and I've now got the little Meep City crown, the slime crown. I know that there's other games that you can play. You can get other little slime things, but I'm not too sure exactly which games they are and stuff. But nonetheless, today we're playing Meep City, and I am so excited to show you. Now, at the beginning, like I said, we have been added into Meep City. Alex Neutron, the creator, which, by the way, thank you so, so much, Alex. I don't know if you're watching this or not, but thank you, thank you, thank you. Alex has added us into the posters, so you guys can all come on Meep City right now and you can get your very own Micro Guardian poster right here for 30 coins. Let's go ahead and buy one right here. Purchase the poster, okay. Now we have our own face, which I was kind of like wondering to myself, is it weird to put my own face up in my own house? But I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. It'll be okay. I have all my friends, all my different people that I play with and some other people I'm pretty sure have their posters here too, but it's just so amazing. Thank you so much Meep City for adding me and my poster in. So now you guys can go into Meep City, into your little houses, and put my face on the wall if you want. But yeah, guys, I am so, so excited. I'm sure you guys can tell. So we're a little kid running around. And what I really wanted to do today is I wanted to try and go to my house. And I want to see, actually, I think I need to go into the home improvement store because I want to upgrade my house into one of the party houses. But I'm not really too sure how to do that because I know all my friends have those big party houses. I'm also not too sure how expensive it's going to be. So we might need to get some money before we do that. But let's go and check out the blueprints. So we need party estate is 400. Oh, we actually need to spend Robux on it. Okay, so I think we have estate tier two right now. And then we get a state tier three, but I really just want to get this party estate. So I will be right back and purchase. There we go. We spent the 400 Robux on it. That is amazing. Successfully purchased party estate. There we go. I finally made it out. I could not make it out of that GUI for some reason. But anyway, Fishy, are you ready? So what we have to do is we actually have to go and redecorate every single part of our estate. Because once we do upgrade our estate, it kind of forces us to get rid of all of our furniture and all of our different things. So we need to head on over into the neighborhood right now. And let's see what we could do. I'm so excited to see everything that we could do with this new estate. I've seen Chad's and I've seen Elastic's and I think Audrey has one too. And they're just so, so big. So I'm really, really excited to kind of get involved in this party estate. And then maybe I can invite some friends over sometimes. Or maybe I should do a live stream soon. We could just have a big party inside my party estate. But I don't even know where my house is. Oh, there it is. My house is over here. So from what I remember from last time, we're supposed to stand outside of our home. And then we click on this little guy right here. We go to blueprints and then we go party estate and upgrade. <gasps> oh my goodness, it looks so amazing. I love it so much. <gasps> oh, this is so cool. I wanna go inside. It's gonna be completely empty and totally sad because we're missing everything. But that's what we're gonna do today is we're gonna redecorate our party estate. Well, holy moly guys, this looks so cool. I love this so much. I've been kind of just really wanting to get this for a while because now we have so much room. There's so much room for activities. I honestly probably don't even have enough stuff to fill up the entire house. That's okay, we'll continually buy stuff. I think right now we'll focus on, it just got dark. I think it's dark time now. But right now we'll try and focus on this little main area right here. Or actually, let's go into one of these rooms. We gotta decide which one of these rooms is gonna be our office. Hmm, this is kind of a small room. I think this one's gonna be about the same size. Let's check out this one in here. I don't know why I haven't done this yet, but I think that we totally need to be riding around on a big wheel this entire time. I'm sorry, guys. I should have been doing that this whole time, but I just wasn't thinking, oh, this should be, oh, that is a huge room. That should either be a bedroom or that should be one of the offices. What about back here? I know that there's a couple more rooms back here. <gasps> Here's what we're gonna do. Okay, 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 I have an idea. So what I wanna do is I wanna hang up all the posters inside of the office, 
So I want to hang the poster. I think I want this to be the office and I think I want this in here to be the bedroom. So this is gonna be perfect. So let's go in here and let's kind of put down our little desk and everything else that we need. So let's see, we got, oh, there we go. We got two micro gardening posters. I had already bought one from earlier, but that is so amazing. Let's put down the window because we need to have a window inside the office. We can't have an office without a window. We want it on that wall because I think that's another room. So it only makes sense really to put it on this wall. So there we go. And then what else do we need? We need the desk. I think I have the desk inside of, here we go, PC desk. So we can put this in the corner. Can I like caddy corner it? Oh, or no, I should put it in front of the window, right? I should, I think I should, I'm gonna put the desk right in front of the window. And I think that should look really, really good. Amazing. And then is there a way that we can have like a little table and stuff? I know we can have a rug, which is probably gonna be really good. Like I said, guys, it's probably gonna look pretty empty because I don't have enough stuff to fill up this entire space. So we're gonna have to go spend some money, get some couches, get some more furniture, get some like a piano. If we could buy a piano, that would be amazing. I'd put it in here. I think every office needs a piano. But let's take a look at what else we have in our attic so we can put inside here. We have, okay, we have all the posters and stuff. So we will put those up in a bit. But let's go ahead and let's see what we can put a little sofa chair and we can put that in this little corner right here. And then do we have a couch that we could do too? I'm pretty sure we have a sofa somewhere. Oh, we have another sofa chair, a red one. So we can have a red one and then a blue one. And then that kind of matches the curtains as well too. I'm not really going for matching, but if we can, we might as well. And then we can put a little meeps bed in here. We probably should put a little fishy bed. Oh, I don't, how did I get the poster? Wait, I don't, I don't want the poster right now. We'll deal with the posters in a second. But let's put this little meat bed right there. And then we can put a litter box here as well. So let's put the little, oh, a little fishy one and it immediately started sleeping. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. Do we really want a litter box inside this room though? Or should we put the litter box inside of the bathroom? Cause if we put a litter box inside this room, it would still work, but it would be really, really smelly if we didn't clean the litter box all the time. So let's actually, let's go ahead and remove that for right now. We'll get rid of that. And then we'll put that in the bathroom with the rest of our stuff. And it's like next to the toilet and stuff. But at least our little fishy has a little place to sleep. Where, where are you going? Why are you over here? What, what are you doing fishy? Fishy's just being really weird today, just acting a little weird. Okay, so the next thing we need to do, oh, I actually have a really good idea. Let's move this, let's turn it around this way. So we're actually looking at the back side of the computer. And then where's the office chair? I know we have a Christmas one, and then we should have a regular one too. And then we can move that to go this way. I have such a good idea. It's gonna look like every time you enter into my office, it's gonna look like you're going to like a job interview or something. Cause we have these three chairs. If I take a look right here, we have three simple chairs. So we can put these in front of my desk. So when people come over and they wanna like talk to me and stuff, then they can come over here and they can hang out inside of my little office and they can sit on these chairs, which will be perfect. Simple chair. And then this one will be facing that way right here. I'm gonna try to get these lined up evenly. I don't know if I'm gonna do a very good job. Does that need to go over a little bit? Simple chair right here. And then we can put this one right in the front. So now I'd be like playing games. My friends could be hanging out right here. They could be over here on the couch. And then we might wanna put a television on this wall too. I know that we're gonna still need like a television and stuff for our main room, but I wanna fill up this room first and then we'll go buy whatever we have to buy. So where is our television? There we go, widescreen TV. And then this can go right up here on the wall. I think this is gonna look so good. And we can even have like a separate little sort of living room area that looks really good in there as well. What I might do, oh, I'm having such good ideas as I'm making this. Let's put the L couch down and let's put the little L couch down right in front of the television. We can put it up against the wall like that. And then, actually, let's move it out a little bit. Let's put it like right, let's put it like right there. That'll look good. And then we might wanna take one of these sofa chairs, probably the red one since it stands out a little bit more, and we could put that down right there. And then where's my rug? Cause I wanna put the rug down in the middle of the floor, right in front of the television. So let's see if we can. Let's put the rug here. Let's rotate it that way. <gasps> this looks so good. This is gonna be, oh, you know, it's kind of crowded though, right? It might be a little bit too crowded. Maybe I get rid of, oh, not the rug. The rug can go back. The rug can still be over there. But maybe I get rid of this chair from right there. And I put this back. Cause I was thinking about putting beanbag chairs in front or in the corners of the room. But I guess I could put that right there. And then let's, little, let's move this little rug back into spot right there. Honestly, I think this looks pretty good. It does kind of look weird with a red chair and like a random red chair is the only thing. So I'm gonna move this one back to the attic for right now. And I think that's the only chair, but on that side, we can add the bean bag. So where's my bean bag? Do I even own a bean bag? I am honestly not even too sure if I own a bean bag. I thought I did. I thought I had a bag chair at one point, but I might not have even ever been able to buy one. Picture frame, sofa chair, sofa chair. Cause I don't think either of them are it. So. That means let's go back over to the shop and let's go and buy ourselves a beanbag chair so we can put it in that corner of the room. And then eventually we're gonna get to work on the huge room right in the front. 
and a huge room in the back. But honestly, I think so far, this is looking like a really, really cozy office. All right, guys, we're at the furniture store. We got to see exactly how much one of those little sofa chairs, or not sofa chairs, but the beanbag chairs cost. I'm really not too... Oh! I'm really not too sure. Let's see. Hello, Mr. Sir. What would you like to sell me today? Well, I'm looking for a little bit of a beanbag. Futuristic couch? Okay, we're buying that. I know it's really expensive, but I love it and we're buying it. Here we go. Beanbag chair. And then let's choose a color. The rest of it was blue. But I think a white one or... Yeah, I think a white one will look really good too. So let's buy one of those white... And we'll buy one of them blue as well, because we can never have too many beanbag chairs. And then something else that I remember, since we're here and we're buying things, I really want to take a look, because I'm pretty sure somewhere you can buy a hot tub. <gasps> there we go. We need 550 coins. Okay, so we're actually really, really close to getting 550 coins. You can even have a custom wooden sign and a custom steel sign. All right, guys, we have tons of stuff that we need to buy. I'm going to make sure that I get some money for the next time that we're trying to do the rest of the house decoration. But since we're just really focusing on the office today then that is what we're going to do. But for the next time, I promise you guys, I'll get a ton of money so we can just go to town and buy every single thing inside the store. It's going to be amazing. All right, let's head actually, I think we can teleport back over to my estate right here. And let's head back and put down the rest of the stuff in the office. But this is so cool. We have our very own party house. I've wanted this for so, so long, ever since they came out with it. And I just, for some reason, didn't get it until now. So now we have it and it is going to be amazing because we just have so much room for activities. Alrighty, this office is looking so cool. So let's go ahead and let's see if the right one to put down was the white beanbag chair or if we should use the black beanbag chair. These are actually pretty big too. So, or not black, but the blue. I don't think they had a black one. That would be cool too. I think the black one would look really good. But yeah, I think this looks really, really good actually The with the beanbag chair to hang out, the little sofa chair on this side. We have Fishy's little bed and he's over there and he's going sleeping. You can't even tell if he's sleeping because he's got his glasses on. It makes him look really cool all the time. Now, this little, uh, I guess this corner of the room is kind of bland, but we could put, oh, let's put the mirror down. Where's the mirror? We could put the flat mirror inside here because, you know, we got to make sure that we look good because we always do face cam in our videos. So we got to make sure that we're looking good and it's blue so it matches pretty well. That is awesome. So now the only thing left to do is add the poster. So we have my very own poster. This is so crazy. Is it, like I said, let me know if it's weird to have your own poster in your house, but I don't think it's really, really weird because at least it'll be right next to all of my friends. So let's go ahead and we'll put, I want to make these kind of even. So let's put one right there. And then where is Chad's picture? Chad, 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 Chad. Actually, I'm going to put elastic on the other side. So it's going to be Chad, or me on this side, and then Lastic on this side. I gotta make sure that I'm spacing these out right. Um, I think it needs to go a little bit more out. I think that's good. Let me know if that's even or not. I think that's pretty even, though. So we have me and Lastic, and then where is Chad and then Audrey? Here we go. Here's Chad. So let's put Chad up on the wall. We'll put him, like, right there. And then will Audrey fit on the other side as well? There we go. Yeah, there we go. Right there is perfect. And then we'll put Sally. We'll put over here on this wall. And then I should actually, I'm going to go back and get the rest of the posters too. I'm going to go back and I think they have Dan. And there's some people that I don't even know either. But I want to put everybody's poster just around this room. So it looks really good. Except I think Sally needs to move up just a little bit. And then Chad might need to move up. No, I think Chad was good. I think it was just Sally that was making it look. Okay, cool. Wait, I might need to move these a little bit. Oh, goodness. Because I think I just need to move the window. Okay, that looks good. I think that's pretty centered. At least it looks pretty good right now. But I'll be right back. I'm going to go and grab the rest of the posters. And let's put them all down. Alrighty, guys, we have so many different posters to lay down. I am so excited. It's just going to completely fill this room. So let's just go ahead and put all of these different ones up. We're going to try to make sure that they're kind of even and they look pretty good. So there's that one. Is that one sideways? No, is that one upside down? Okay, I think that's the right way to put it. I'll put this one up on the wall, but that one's got to flip around that way right there. And then we have Albert's stuff right here. And then Sub-Zero. I guess we should probably put all the pals guys next to each other. So we'll put this one right here, and then we'll put Dennis's right next to Sub, and then maybe we can fit Alex's, or could, should we put him on the different wall? Here, we'll move Albert this one, we'll move this one over to this wall, and then we'll put Alex's right here, and then that should look really, really good. So let's go ahead and flip that around. Oh my goodness, it looks so good, I love it, and it all fits on that wall so, so well. It looks amazing. Okay, now we can move this one down to over here, and then we can put the Dan one, We'll try to put it up on this wall. Let's flip it around. There we go. And then... Is that all of them? Is that all the different posters? Because we can put... The, we still have the two other ones that we can put on the wall. We can put the... Uh, well, I don't really know if I want a Phantom Forces one. I don't, I don't really want that one. But I want the Natural Disaster Survivor. So we could put that one over onto this wall over here. 
So it looks like right there. And then we, I want to make sure that it's on the same level as the rest of them. Yeah, I think it actually needs to go up just a little bit right there. <gasps> okay, good. I think that looks good. Wait, how does that look? Should we spread those out a little bit more? Or does that look really good? I think this honestly looks pretty amazing. I don't think I missed anybody. If I did, I'll be sure to put them up afterwards. But I'm pretty sure that this office is completely complete. And I absolutely love it. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of the office as well. But this is so amazing. I'm so excited to decorate this party house and the rest of these episodes coming up. I think the office looks already pretty amazing. And I'm so excited to see what else we can do. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. Like I said, be sure to go and check out the Meep City shop. And you can get your own Micro Guardian poster. Thank you again, Alex. Huge shout out to Alex Neutron for adding me into the Meep City store. That is so amazing thank you guys so much for watching if you did like the video please leave a like right down below subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and i'll see you guys next time for another episode of roblox bye guys